What up, baby? What up, baby? We're back for another movie review. It's a quick one, okay? Yesterday, I just saw Cobweb, okay? I saw previews for this movie. I heard a little bit of buzz, and I was like, all right, let's see what the hype's about. And, oh, man, did it pay off. Oh, man, did it pay off. This is a super creepy horror movie. Uh, it's not perfect, but... It's so enjoyable and fun and creepy and uh, rewatchable. I I I can't recommend this one n enough, and I give it an, uh, a rating of probably eight point nine out of ten. Okay, this movie is basically about a young boy who starts hearing weird noises in his room, and when he takes this issue to his parents you learn that things are very, very off at home. Something very sinister is going on behind the scenes, and you only know what's going on when it's too late. You only figure it out when it's too late. By this point, you're already immersed in the... the entertaining story and you've got questions and even some predictions and i uh i had a prediction about this uh movie like where the plot was going uh, a little more than halfway in i was like i think i know where they're gonna go with this and they went there but i wasn't disappointed you know like it, like i could i could tell where they were going to go with it and i was still like man that was cooler than i thought it was going to be or like that was even uh that was even better than you know the the stuff i heard about it um uh one thing i want to say is uh anthony star is in the movie and he plays the father i really think he stole the show uh, not only that, there's a young boy in the movie, the, whoever, uh, whichever child actor played this kid w was really, really, really good and talented. They, they, uh, weren't annoying in any way like some child actors can be. The effects were great. I couldn't really tell if it was practical or CGI. It was it looked like a bit of a blend, you know. Uh, but the villain in the movie is super, super creepy, dude. Like super creepy, really cool looking. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the last half hour of this movie too. Uh, oh my god, the the last half hour is like nonstop horror. It's so cool, dude. Uh, it even has some gory, like, gross-out moments, I guess you could say. And those were really fun, too. Man, I, 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 I don't know what else to say about it. I, I don't want to uh, forget anything in this review. Um, but to sum things up, I'll just say, go check this movie out. And definitely buy a copy on Blu-ray for the collection, if, if you're like me. Uh... I, w I was totally blown away, and I, I can't wait to to get this on uh, physical copy so I can watch it every every October because this is uh, this is definitely one of those movies you want to dust off every year. Um, so yeah, I think that just about sums up the review. Like I said, I give it an eight point nine out of ten. It's not perfect, but it's damn close. Okay. Super awesome movie. Go check out Cobweb. I don't know if it's in the theater still, but if it is, oh my god, check it out there. I wish I went and saw it in the theater. Woo! Man, that would that would have be that might have might have uh, uh, made me give give it a hot even higher review. I can only imagine how much cooler it is in the theater. Definitely go check out Cobweb. Okay, and hey. Little secret here. Whew. Hey, little secret here. Go check out Boogeyman too. All right, the the Boogeyman movie that just came out was fucking dope, dude. Um, I might have actually done a review of that one already. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But either way, go check out Cobweb. All right, go check out Cobweb, baby.